I am sorry that I could not attend your conference, but I have prepared a short video to explain the main elements of crowd simulation. I would like first to explain what is a crowd. It's a large group of individuals in the same physical environment sharing a common goal and may act in a different way than when they are alone. But the number of people is not the only aspect because we could have a huge crowd, but we can have also, for example, in a classroom, if you have more than 50 people, it's uh, crowdy. Or a swimming pool with all these people is also a crowdy environment. And finally, this bus is also crowdy. I have a large experience in crowd simulation. I started in 1998. Six PhD students have finished their thesis in crowd simulation. I have published more than 30 publications in top journal and conference and one book was published by Springer in the second edition in 2013. There are a lot of challenges in crowd simulation. We don't want to have all the people the same, with the same appearance. They should have a skin colors, shapes, heights, accessories which are different. Also the animation and the behavior should differ, be different. And we want to have an interaction with crowd. There are specific topics in crowd simulation. One of these is the motion planning. Another one is how to avoid collisions. How to create emergent behaviors. And uh, of course we have to render many people. Which means that if we want to do in real time we need to develop techniques for this. A typical application of crowd simulation is the planning of urban situation. For example, if we design a new metro station, a new building, a new train, a new airport terminal, we would like to have a simulation of the situation before it is done. The advantage is really that we can study the situation before the implementation and we can change the parameters, the number of people, the path, the direction, if there are handicapped people for example. And if there is a problem, I mean an emergency, an evacuation, a fire, we can also simulate the situation. But there are other applications, in particular in entertainment and edutainment. For example, games or serious games, and of course also for movies. One also typical example is the cultural heritage. We can recreate ancient civilization like the Roman, the Greek, and so on. Thank you for your attention. If you have questions, you can send me an email. And now, I would like to present you a movie to show this crowd simulation.